Kerry Rasmussen started taking Ozempic several years ago after her previous diabetes therapy was no longer effective. I was warned that there were some side effects. The side effects were severe, problems like nausea and vomiting that lasted for months. But combined with healthy habits, she also dropped about 80 pounds. The weight loss side effect of the drug um, is, uh, it's great. It's not why I'm taking it, um, but my diabetes is very well under control under Ozempix. Patients are losing weight on it. That side effect has garnered attention from many who don't suffer from diabetes. Ozempic has been approved for use in Canada since 2018, but its popularity specifically as an off-label prescription for weight loss is part of what's driving up demand, an indication that is not approved by Health Canada. And demand is now leading to widespread shortages, specifically for one milligram pens. Ozempic stock, at least in our stores that I, I manage, are completely out of stock right now for Ozempic. Um, since we heard about the potential shortage late August, we've been starting to kind of reduce the volume that we give to patients and we're trying to triage based on patients that are running out. The medicine shop says it's getting constant inquiries about the drug and has had to switch some patients to new therapies. For now, Rasmussen's only option is to take an oral form of the drug and has received offers to buy it from people online who've decided it wasn't for them. The side effects are pretty nasty, so if they're taking it for weight loss and then deciding, well, maybe this isn't for me, you're actually taking it from people who are using it for its intended use. Kind of always blows my mind that people take it for weight loss and I know how I feel after I take it and I don't really like that feeling. It costs Rasmussen about $200 a month with many insurance companies like hers no longer covering the medication. Health Canada says shortages are expected to be resolved by mid-October. Sarah Offen, Global News.